In this video, let's see Docker basic commands. Docker is installed and the daemon is running on my host. Let's begin with commands specific to images. This command displays all images on my host. Right now, I have one image on this host. Next, let's see how to pull images from Docker remote registries. The command is docker pull image name colon its version. If you want alpine image, we should mention the name colon its version. As I want this image with version 1.2. This is how we mention it. We also call this version as tags. If no version is mentioned, it's going to pull the image with latest version. See that it's using default tag, which is latest and pulling this image from Docker Hub registry. If you want to remove the image, the command is docker rmi image id or image name we can pass uh, image id or image name in this case i have passed image name let's also see how to use image id to delete that image from the host Let's get list of images on this host. Docker remove images. The ID. We're not able to delete this image because there is a container running based on this image. We can't delete images if there are any containers using this image. First, we need to terminate all containers using this image. Then only we can remove this image from the machine. We can remove multiple images in one single command by mentioning space separated image IDs or image names like this. So ID 1, ID 2, ID 3 and so on. This deletes all images with ID 1, 2 and 3. Certain times I want to clean up my host with I want to clean up my host deleting all images in one shot. I don't want to manually mention image IDs there. What I can do is I can get list of image IDs, only image IDs. That's done with help of iPhone Q. This returns only image IDs. If you don't mention iPhone Q, that returns more details like tag, repository, ID, created size, etc. This is giving me list of image IDs. I can pass this as a sub command to my Docker RMI dollar inside parentheses docker images iphone q this returns back list of image ids that list is given as input for this docker rmi and it removes all those images of course we have issue because there is a running container which is using this image id so we can't delete that next let's see docker inspect docker inspect image id this gives the details of uh, this image if this image is built with multiple layers, it has that information here. Last tagging time. And the other details like volumes, 
entry point, labels, architecture, OS, and many more. Now let's see how to run containers using images. The command is docker run. We can use hyphen it for interactive mode or we can use hyphen d for a background mode or detached mode. hyphen p for port publishing or we call it as port mapping. This port is on my host mapped with this port on the container. The image I'm using is HTTPD latest. This image is exposing 80 port. That is why I'm using 80 for my container. To access this container, anybody want to access this container, they can hit my host IP with 9090. That is routed to the container running with 80 on my host. While running containers, we also can mention optional container names. If you don't mention name, Docker creates a funny random name for the container. It says this image not present locally. And it want to pull it from the remote seems the image name is wrong. The image is present locally, so it didn't download this image again from remote. It created a container within seconds. Let's see how to check running containers on this host. Docker ps is the command to list all running containers on this host. We have a couple of running containers on this host with different port mappings. One container is mapped with 9090, that's the one we ran now. And another container is mapped with 80. It is up and running. This one is up and running for 17 minutes. And this one just came up 17 seconds ago. Now let me show how to access this container using web browser. Let's access our container here. Let's open up the browser. Use localhost 9090 and we should be able to access the container. Localhost 9090. Yes, this is the response coming from container on this host. Docker PS will list out only running containers. If you want to see running as well as stopped containers, we use hyphen EA. This time we see three containers there. Two are in running state and other one is in stop state. Like VMs, we also can start, stop, and restart containers. Docker, stop, container ID, or container name. The container stopped. To start, it is docker start container ID. To restart, it is docker restart container id. Like VMs, we also can manage containers by calling a start, stop, and restart. To remove the container, we use docker rm. In case of removing images, it is rmi, remove image. To remove containers, we use docker rm followed by container id or container name. To remove multiple containers, we mention space separated container names or container IDs. 
if you have multiple containers to remove mention them by leaving a space you can't remove a container if it is in running state that's what the error we're getting now to remove a container in running state one option is stop and remove the other option is force remove that f will force remove this container to remove all containers in one single command we need to get list of container ids that can be done using docker ps a which returns all container details which is running and stopped and q will return back only container ids we can use this as a sub command to docker rm inside dollar parenthesis mention docker ps hyphen aq this returns back list of container ids and this removes all those containers if there are any running containers it cannot be removed we need to do a force remove or stop and remove that Now let's see how to get into container. For that we don't have any containers right now. Let's start a container. I want to get into this container for some troubleshooting uh, things. Docker exec. This command is used to execute commands on containers. Ifen it it stands for interact to terminal then the container id or name this time i'm using container name bin bash we are executing this command on this container in interact to terminal mode this gives the terminal of the container right now we are on that container terminal otherwise right now we are inside the container these are the files which is kept on the container this is how we get into container to come out of the container we use exit we got out of the container if you want to check logs of your container we use docker logs container name or container id so those are the logs generated by the container we also can use inspect on containers like we used inspect on images docker inspect and the container name or container id this is giving back details like MAC address, IP address, networking, gateway, ports mapped, bridge, work directory, and many more. Let's see how to build images using Docker file. Let's create a workspace. I have a sample project on my a github account let's clone that this is a public repository you guys can clone for your uh, demos let's cd into this folder it has created a folder with repository name so these are the files these are my project files uh, you can see this docker file here uh, usually we build images after writing a docker file let me show the content this is a node based application let's not worry too much about what this file has but at high level this is a node based application we are exposing 
this container on 8080. Let's see how to build that. Docker build hyphen T stands for tagging. Name of this image is node app and its version is 1.0 and dot which stands for the location and the current directory has my docker file it uses docker file from this current directory and it's going to build doc image for us the base image we are using in this docker file is not present locally so it is pulling that image from remote something went wrong let's try this again probably it failed previously because of uh, my network internet connection was slow probably the image is successfully built it downloaded base image from uh, docker hub and next time onwards it uses the image present in the local and let's see how to run container from this image docker images to list all images on this host docker run is a command to run containers from image i want to run this in detach mode hyphen d hyphen p for port mapping and in docker file we have seen node app is exposing 8080 on host let me give 90 but coming to the container port it must be 8080 because container is exposing 8080 the image name to use for running this container we also can mention optional container name if we don't mention container name docker uses a random name something wrong we forgot to mention the tag let's cross check that node app colon the tag this is present locally correct see that it has created the container to list all running containers the command is docker ps this is our container on this host it is mapped with 90 onto the container it is mapped with 8080 to access this application let's open browser use localhost and 90 as a port localhost 90 yes this is the application we ran locally and these are the basic commands i want to cover part of this video thanks for watching